You ever wonder how all this free money the government keeps giving is affecting us and affecting inflation? Well, it's causing inflation. It's a huge reason for the cause of inflation right now. You know, I did a video not too long ago. Maybe you saw it. I want to talk to you about it again here. Do you know how much $5 trillion is? You know, the government throws that money around. The media throws it around like it's nothing. It's become just second nature to hear the word trillion. Like, oh, it's just a couple trillion dollars. Okay, let me just give some perspective. I did this exercise to show how much it is. So I had figured out that the government's given about $5 trillion. Now, they have more bills they're trying to pass to give more money. But let's just say for now it's $5 trillion dollars they've pumped into the economy. Is it a small amount of money and how does it affect things? All right, ready? If you went back to the time when Jesus Christ walked on this earth, so the year zero, right? AD zero, right? A, I don't know, whatever the AD, so the year zero. And then, you know, today it's 2,000 years later, 2,022 years later. You ready for this? If you spent $6 million a day, a day, $6 million a day for the past 2,020 years, that's $5 trillion. I want you to imagine that today you woke up and you were given the task to spend $6 million. Now it'd be fun for the first day, and the second day you'd be like, oh my gosh, and the third day you'd be like, what am I supposed to do with six, I, I mean, I can only buy so many islands and yachts and jet, right? $6 million a day for 2,000 years. Does that give you some perspective on how much free money they pumped in the economy? They've caused the U.S. dollar to go down in value significantly, so they've caused inflation, so everything costs more money. You can't fix a problem by adding more free money into an economy. You just can't do it, but they keep trying to do it over and over. I'm not trying to be political. What I am saying is it's, cause, it's causing everything to go up and be more expensive. So how does the average person survive it? I think if you don't find a way to make a significant secondary income alongside your job, you're going to struggle. I think if you're an average American, you're gonna struggle if you don't find a significant way to do it. What is the one investment, right? Guess where I'm going with this. If you've been following me for any other time, guess where I'm going. What's the one investment that always keeps up with inflation? Real estate. You see, real estate prices are increasing dramatically. Why? Because of inflation. They inflate the dollar, real estate goes up in value. So people that own real estate, they've hedged their bet with real estate. All I can tell you is this. If you wanna hedge your bet against inflation. You got to start buying real estate. Look, it's good to flip houses. That's good active income. We've done we've done about a thousand deals actually this year. We should eclipse a thousand deals this year. And so that's great income to make. It's much better. But what I love is our rental portfolio. I love our rental portfolio because that's where the real wealth is. Those houses keep up with inflation. So next time you think about how many trillions of dollars have been added to our U.S. economy, I want you to say to yourself, Gosh, if I had a house or two houses or five houses and I had those alongside my current job, would it hedge my bet for inflation? Because guess what else goes up? Not just the value of the house. Have you noticed what else is going up like crazy? Rent. Rent goes up as well. So the rent goes up higher. That means how much more? Who gets the income from the rent increase? You do if you own the property. If you don't own the property, you're getting nothing. So you gotta start becoming a real estate investor right stinking now. If you don't know how to, make sure you follow us. You know, come to one of our home flipping workshops. Check out what we do. We go over how to flip. We call it the home flipping workshop. But really, it's about flipping. It's about building a rental portfolio, long term, short term. We kind of go over all the strategies to be a really successful real estate investor. And um, I just encourage you to get in the game. Whether you come to us or somebody else, get in the game of real estate investing because that's how you hedge your bet against inflation that equals $6 million a day for over 2,000 years. <laughs>